Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Going Medieval. So we got that seed vault, I think pretty much done. There's just some minor stuff that needs to be done still down here. Oh, actually no, it's all set up. Alright, so we can start moving on to the next one. I'm just going to check the temperature quickly in here and see what the temperature is. Uh, what is the temperature outside? 18 degrees. Down here it is... About two degrees, which isn't too bad for Seavolt, honestly. Like during the summer, that's not too bad. Um, what I do want to do is get the other sea vault here um, built. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually get... Uh, we'll remove that so we can actually see. So I want to mine out this area and then we can put a part down or maybe we can... Let's see here, what would be the best kind of thing to do? I think what I'm going to do is actually build down here and we'll mine this out. Just trying to think because, you know what, I think what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to tell them to mine out down this way. So we're going to leave probably about that much space and that will go directly under here and then we can go another one down i think that might work because this is already basically the wood here right so and we're going to need to bring this like that and we're probably going to replace all this uh top stuff eventually actually you know what let's let's do that now um well, we still have the chance, and then when we go ahead and build the seed vault, the seed vault, it won't make too much of a difference uh, when we um, start, when we do get the building for the wall and stuff over here situated. So I'm going to tell them to um, remove the top part of this, or just go single layer, and then we'll remove all that flooring up here. And then we can build that tower, I guess, in this spot. We're also going to need to knock down some walls as well, which are completely fine. Because um, we need to get this part set up for the wall. Um, the only the thing the only thing that I'm worried about is it just turned summer. And we might have another battle, so we have to be really careful on when we tear down that existing wall there. But I think we can make it work, so... I'll tell them to start moving over the bricks so we can get that.
All right, so we had uh, blight crops, uh, which is a disease that crops can get. Um, a lot of crops actually can get blight, um, which is like a, um, it's hard to explain. It's like a uh, disease. Uh, I can't remember exactly if it's a fungal disease. I think it's a fungal, not bacterial disease. So uh, for crops, but um, we took care of it. We uh, just cut out the ones that were the issue that was already harvested, but we had a few over here and um, some of it affected the cabbage and I think the beetroots were fine and the carrots did fine as well, but uh, we needed to um, cut a lot of this stuff down, which is unfortunate, but that's all right. Um, better than losing in our entire field, right? So, and we still got tons of days to, um, what do you call it, uh, get everything replanted and one more harvest. So we'll be doing good for that. Now, I'm not sure how long this actually takes. Uh, it says lifespan 19, but I think this is only seven days. So if we were to plant now, yeah, we might be able to do it. I'm not sure if we'll have time though because everyone's still harvesting so we'll basically disable that for now um this five days so we should be able our our range is within that period thankfully so we'll be able to do that and stairs are still being worked on uh what i'm going to do is they're just about finished this and i'm going to start working on getting that wall section removed and then we can put in the wall that we need. Uh, they got pretty much all of the parts set up here uh, for this part. I'm just been decorating it, making sure that the uh, lines are properly set up and then we can start working on that part. I still need a support in here and these four walls set up um, to get that part working, but uh, we should be good to go for that at least. I can start putting in these at least and start working on the upper floor. Now for the upper floor, I was thinking probably just go with wood for the top for top part. I don't know what kind of mechanics they're going to be adding for fire, so I'm not sure what we're going to need for that, if it's going to be an issue or anything like that. But if it's just the tower parts, it should be fine, I think. It's far enough off the ground, and most of it's made out of stone anyways, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, so... We'll work on that at least, and then we can get this part set in when the shift changes.
All right, so we got that part done. I'm not sure if we're gonna have enough time to plant any crops. They're still harvesting stuff. Um, oh no, they're, they are planting good. All right, that's gonna take four days. Uh, this is five, we don't, we don't really need that. We do need more food though. So I'm gonna get them to um, plant the beetroots and carrots and that should hold us through winter. Uh, cabbage. We don't get um, actually much return on that uh, compared to beetroots. We get 15 beetroots per thing. And then there's the bonus for the settler's skill level 2 and 14 for that. So yeah, I think we're going to just focus on um, the carrots and stuff. And hopefully that will um, get us through the winter. It's always a hard uh, challenge to getting everything planted and then everything harvested on time and we actually didn't get that much beetroots because we didn't harvest it in time so we got most of it as it was going to uh seed un unfortunately so um this should be fine when we get to that point and we still need to make that um uh, part down here for mining that out oh they did mine that part so i i need to slowly mine away at the um the terrain here and get the dogs to remove that. Let's see if we can't. Okay, they don't have hauling, unfortunately. We'll have to wait for a dog to come and pick that up. But um, once we get that done, we can mine the next part and then the next part and then the next part until we get to that part. And then we need to mine out all that down there, which is going to be fun. And I think the other guy's gardening. He's basically the. Um, minor guy so we'll have to leave him for now can you actually okay he's constructing let's see what do we have oh he can mine okay so let's actually turn him to mine priority and then cooking and because we have a lot of cooks already so it's not like we need an extra one during the night yeah, I think that might work. And then he'll be focusing on, on mining, which will really alleviate the um, stuff. So we'll be constructing, mining, and then cooking. Okay, so let's see here. He's refueling. Hold on a sec. What's going on? Okay, let's... um. Let's lower that to that point and then we'll go ahead and tell him to mine. Alright, so we got quite a bit of stuff done today. We got um, the gardening mostly harvested. Uh, unfortunately, we did lose some crops. 
but uh, they started planting the carrots and the beetroots, so hopefully that will be done today, and then what should be done, if it's done today, then we'll have it um, by autumn, so we'll, that last harvest that we'll be able to fit in. The carrots are good, we just are waiting on beetroots, and the everything else is ready for basically getting ready. Uh, we built this section, so basically what this allows us to do is start building underneath the, um, here. And this is all set up now, so we can start planning out our seed vault and stuff. And this will take care of the barley and the carrots. And when we actually get this part all finished and stuff, we'll be able to put our, um, what do you call it, the berries in here as well for uh, the primary harvesting and planting uh, versions. So that will be really good and important for continuing our harvests and stuff. So that will give us three options for that. So we have these four for this seed vault and then we still need another one for the tree saplings which will be probably somewhere in this corner um, over here maybe. Or something like that. I'm not sure where the gate is. Yeah, the gate's there, so we'll probably put the um, seed vault right over here, just so it's a direct line. And that will be good. So, outside of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and if you want to hang out with the community and stuff, I have a Discord server. It's in the description. Uh, consider joining, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.